fresh round of sanctions has been imposed by South Korea this morning, targeting North Korea, specifically in response to the regime's latest satellite launch attempt. The U.S. also joined the bandwagon. Our Choi Min Jung starts us off this morning. South Korea has slapped a new round of sanctions on North Korea in response to the regime's attempted launch of a spy satellite last month. The foreign ministry announced Friday that the sanctions target five individuals and one institution involved in the regime's nuclear and missile development and funding. This is the 11th round of sanctions put in place against the North during the Yoon administration. So far, a total of 54 individuals and 51 institutions have been put on the blacklist. Newly added to the list this time around is a North Korean company involved in Pyongyang's development of armed equipment and the export of IT personnel, as well as five company officials. The government says that by putting sanctions in place ahead of other countries, it demonstrates its strong will to lead the international community's efforts to block North Korea's development of satellites, drones and nuclear weapons. The ministry stressed the sanctions come with support from Seoul, Washington and Tokyo, as established during the recent trilateral summit, to further strengthen cooperation against North Korea. In coordination with South Korea and Japan, the United States on Thursday sanctioned two individuals and one entity involved in generating revenue for Pyongyang's development of weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missiles. The action targets two individuals, a North Korean and a Russian, who have directly supported or helped generate revenue for North Korean organizations that are linked to the development of WMDs, and a company owned by one of the individuals. The U.S. Treasury Department said the action is being taken in response to the North's second failed satellite launch as well. Both Seoul and Washington said they will continue to coordinate closely with each other and Japan, as well as the international community, to ensure that North Korea stops its unlawful and destructive activities. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.